Hey guys, this is Eliza from Dusk Angel Reads and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing another video in the Matathon series. So today I am doing a quiz from the website Traveller to determine how well I know Australia. So this is like a quiz made for like, you know, travellers that are coming to Australia. I am Australian. So let's see how well I actually know these things. I don't know. So there is 26 questions. And the first question is, in which Victorian town is Sovereign Hill, which commemorates the discovery of the gold in 1951 and the Eureka Uprising in 1954? So I have actually been to Sovereign Hill um, when I was, I think about year six or something, we went to Tasmania and we drove down and being living in Queensland, we had to drive to Melbourne and we went through there on the way home, I think. But Sovereign Hill is in Ballarat, so. I ticked it, is it? Oh, yep, yeah. we got a tick, right? Okay, next question. Feared by foreign tourists. Oh my god, okay. These are species names. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce them. And I have no idea what these are. I'm gonna guess jellyfish. No, I'm wrong. Spiders. There you go. I have no idea what those things are. I wonder what their common name is, because then I probably know what they are, but their scientific name. Nope. <laughs> okay, so the next question is, Jamala Wildlife Lodge featuring accommodation within centimetres of animal enclosures is in which city? Canberra, Melbourne, Darwin, Hobart. I'm pretty sure it's in the ACT, so Canberra. So let's click that one. Yes! Okay. I do know some things. After 66 years in the air, in what year did NSET Airlines cease operation? Fuck to find I've never heard of them before. Let's go. The options are 95, 2001, 98, and 92. I'm going to guess 92, but I've never actually heard of that airline. Okay, it was in 2001. There you go. Not, I'm like two for two at the moment. Not doing too great. But I've also never heard of that before. So the next question is, in which city are Salamanca Market and the Henry Jones Art Hotel and the Museum of Old and New Art? Oh, uh, I mean, I think... Actually, I think I remember something about the Museum of New and Old Art. I think it was in Tassie. So I'm gonna go with Hobart. Yes, according to the law of, oh, where's the screen capture button? Um, according to the law of the Moan Jum people of the Kimberley, what is Wangina? Okay, so this is an Aboriginal tribe. Um, Wangina, I'm not sure. Like, I know a bit about our local Aboriginal tribes, like the ones that are around my area. Um, but not about what terms are. Creation spirit. I'm gonna go with creation spirit. Oh, there you go, I was right, okay. What are Bianca C, Spiegel Grove, U352, and Yungala, Yungala? <laughs> fuck. Um, travel apps? D they don't sound like travel apps. Queensland towns, no, because I'm pretty sure we don't have a Queensland town called U352. That That's a little questionable. Um, so it'd probably be either shipwreck dive sites or Canberra restaurants. I'm going to go with shipwreck dive sites. Yes. There you go. I'm guessing some of these. So let's, let's be real. I don't actually know these things. I do now. What are the names of the giant pandas that you can visit at Adelaide Zoo? Okay, I've never even been to South Australia, so I've never been to Adelaide. Ling Ling, Wang Wang, Fung Fung, Kung Kung. That's like the first names in each row. I'm going to go with the Ling Ling one. Just, just as a guess. No? Okay, I was wrong. It is Wang Wang and Fu Ni. <sighs> okay, guys. What pub in McKinley in northern Queensland was featured in the movie Crocodile, Crocodile Dundee? Okay, I'm pretty sure it was called Walkabout Creek Hotel. It has been a long time since I watched Crocodile Dundee, like years and years ago. Oh, yes, I am correct. Can you stay at the Southern Ocean Lodge, eat pure... Ligurine, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, honey, and see a giant boulders known as remarkable rocks. Okay, Southern Ocean, I'm gonna go with, because it's called a Southern Ocean Lodge, I'm gonna go with Kangaroo Island in South Australia, just as a educated guess, and yes, I'm right. Five cruise ship companies from which company rendezvous in Sydney Harbour in November 2015. I'm gonna guess P&O because that's like one of the main ones. 
Yes, it is. And I know they have a lot of votes. What was the most geotagged Australian destination on Instagram in 2015? Melbourne Cricket Ground, Bondi Beach, Sydney Opera House, Sydney Harbour. Um, I'm going to go Bondi. No, I was wrong. Sydney Opera House. What region plays host to the Truffle Kerfuffle Food Festival every winter? Oh my god, I've never heard of that before. I'm just going to guess that... We'll go with the one in Tassie, Derwin Valley. Let's let's just guess that. I'm probably wrong. Yes, I am wrong. Uh, Margaret River, Western Australia. Righto, cool. In which national park can you explore magnetic termite mounds, see Wangi Falls, hike a tabletop track, and soak in bluey rock hole? Okay, so tabletop track and gave it away because tabletop mountain. Um, that's Litchfield National Park. There you go. Which of these is not one of the 94 places mentioned in Lucky Star's 1962 song, I've Been Everywhere? Oh my god, okay. Oh my, I can't remember the lyrics. I can only remember that remake that they did where it's like this black fella dancing in the middle of the sticks. That's the only one I can remember. I can't remember the actual song. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess Birdsville. I'm probably wrong, I am wrong. Kalgoorlie, oh okay. Interesting. In which New South Wales town can you take a selfie with the big Merino? I'm pretty sure this is Goldburn. Yes, yes it is. Um, and if you don't know what Merino is, it's a sheep. What was the nickname of the TSS Fair Star, Australia's first domestically based cruise ship? Oh, fuck, if I know. What was the nickname? Well, it was called the Fair Star, so I'm gonna assume it's called Fair Game. Okay, I was wrong. It was the fun ship. Okay. They tricked you there by adding in the name Fair Game because it was called the Fair Star. What are hardware, tatter sales, ACD, and hosier? Uh, um, ACD is a band. ACD? ACDC, what the fuck am I talking about? I highly doubt there would be wineries. Tasmania walking trails. I doubt Tasmania would have... Wait, where, where was ACD formed? I, weren't they in Melbourne? I'm gonna go with Melbourne Laneways. Yes, that's what I thought, because I was pretty sure ACDC formed in Melbourne. So it just makes sense, Melbourne Laneways. Okay, in which town is the annual Elvis Festival held each January? Okay, the Elvis Festival is held in the town of Parks, which is, if you saw our, um, well, my recent reading vlog, you'll know my dad recently bought a car, an old Ford LTD, and he bought it from Parks, so. Interesting, but yeah, it's from Parks New South. This year marks the 400th anniversary. Wait, what year was this posted? Okay, we don't have a year. Thank you. This year marks the 400th anniversary of the landing near Shark Bay and WA by which explorer? And that was Dirk Hartog. Hart, Hartog. Hartog. No, she's not sure if that's how you pronounce it. But it's definitely not heart hog. Um, okay, I was right. Next question. Where are you if you are learning about the Tuju? To Jakara Park culture from the local. I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go with Uluru, the top one. Yes, I'm right because the third word has the first three letters of the word that was in the question. Don't know how to pronounce either of them, but educated guessing. Mick Crossan Street is the main drag. Which popular tourist town? Mick Crossan. I'm pretty sure it's Port Douglas, I think. Yes, it is, because I've been to those other places and I haven't been to Port Douglas. Okay, so now one of Australia's iconic tourism events, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Mardi Gras, was born out of a protest march in what year? Oh, I don't know. Let's go with, I'm just making a guess, we'll go with 78. Oh, I was right. There you go. Who is the most vis visited grave in Australia? Uh, Ned Kelly. I'm going to guess Ned Kelly. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, no, okay. Bon Scott. Like, I know he was a singer, but he was a bit before, like, my mum's time. So, I don't know his music. <laughs> like, I know my era's music and I know mum's era's music, but I don't know beyond that. Where were men at work when they received a Vegemite sandwich in the song Land Down Under? Fuck if I know. I'm gonna guess Byron because that's the only one that's Australian. No, they were in Brussels. Okay. The Santos Tour Down Under cycling event is held in which state or territory? 
I doubt it'll be at ACT because ACT is like, you know, it's only around Canberra. So that wouldn't exactly be touring very much. I'm gonna guess Victoria. I'm not sure. No, South Australia. Okay, because I knew it wouldn't be Western Australia because they are very long, spread out roads and stuff and a lot of dirt roads. Okay, I'm pretty bloody Australian apparently. I got 61%. I answered 16 out of 26 six questions correct. And the little description thing is, um, you go to Bali every year and you never miss a game of footy. Never been to Bali. Don't watch footy. I watched Origin. Don't watch normal footy. Um, you spend Australia Day Eve putting little Australian flags into Lamingtons and there will definitely be prawns on your barbie on the big day. Never put an Australian flag in a Lamington. Never put a prawn on a barbie. But at least they said prawns and not shrimp. Anyways, your idea of the ultimate Australia Day is inviting all your mates over, cranking up the hottest 100 or Triple J and consuming as much brew, pav, lammies, snags and prawns as you can handle while waiting for the top 10, all 10 of which songs you voted for. Okay, I've never done that, but, you know, apparently I'm only 61% Australian, according to this quiz. According to the fairy bread one, I was 100% Australian. So I think we're at odds here somewhere. But anyways, that is it for this video. I'm sorry that I spent half the time looking down at my screen because obviously I was reading questions and answering them. But, you know, not much you can do about that. So that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. We'll go Through the wastelands, through the highways Till my shadow turns to sun